<laughs> okay, everybody. Welcome back to our third installment of Sunfish Funfish Match Race. Today's race is June 20th, 2020. Lots of 20s there. I am Billy Bob Clambake. And I'm Felipe Aaron Scotty. What's up, Felipe? What do you feel about June 20, 2020? Uh, I agree. That is a lot of 20s in there for sure. Oh, look out. <laughs> that, there. that was just Brad doing a job. We got about a minute before the start of this race. Once again, it's Brad West and Karen Jones. We got uh, about a minute to go. And uh, you know what? One of the exciting moments is that one minute sound. Wow. That's a throwback right there. It is. A little cymbal crash. Now, we had a, we had a camera issue with Karen. So we're, we're going to do a couple of different things to help let our listeners know what's going on and our watchers. First, in the top right corner, you see the tracks of our two competitors. Uh, Brad's in the blue track. Karen will be in the green track. Ah, technology. It's incredible. And the numbers are still in the bottom left. Brad will be the yellow numbers once they uh, connect to our satellites. You know, they're always watching you up there. Hey, I mean, they got to make money otherwise, right? We got to sell that information. That's right. Karen will be in the green numbers. And we're going to also show the uh, kind of the top down uh, race cue effect in the bottom right here in just a second. Nine seconds to go before the start of the race. Brad is uh, struggling to get his boat going. He's a little bit into irons, and he's going to be late. Classic Brad, always late. <laughs> he is going to be late, and there goes Karen. And Brad is just now getting up to speed. Uh, and off they go. They're going to be late to the line. So one of the things that's important about a good race is a good start and, and knowing how you hit that line right on the money. And uh, up, looks like... Uh, Karen started 12 seconds sooner than Brad did. That's quite a, quite a time to make up there for Brad. Yeah, this is actually a relatively short race, Felipe. It's only going to be, it's going to be two laps, but each, the up one leg is, is short. The down one leg is obviously just as short. They're going to be using the gate at the bottom to go, and go back up to the top and do it one more time and then finish down win again. So Brad is off by 12 seconds, so in this race he's got to make up 12 seconds. So this is our first lap race we've ever done. It is. Uh, so as they're both heading off here on port, Brad's got a little bit more speed, but he's also, uh, you know, a little bit behind and he's trying to make up that gap. Uh, in this corner here you can see Karen is getting ready to approach the lane line and she tacks. Smart. I would do the same. Uh, Brad is uh, still tracking behind and... Um, he, he's going to be coming up to the point where he's going to have to attack. The question is going to be, did Karen hit that ley line or did she tack short of it? And will Brad uh, go ahead and go all the way to the ley line? What do you think? I trust Karen. She's got a good eye for this sort of thing. She's, she's the speediest sailor I know. <laughs> well, let's go out and see. Uh, Brad looks like he's close to the ley line, but that would make Karen short. We'll have to see when he gets, a, you know, if the wind keeps shifting to the right, uh, maybe they can both make the ley line. Uh, let's see here. Um, Brad's got uh, good speed, but he's, he's, he's obviously trying to make the mark, so he's pinching a little bit. Oh, Karen's tacking. There he is again. So uh, I don't think Karen made that uh, ley line as it turns out. Uh, Brad's getting some good speed, though, as he's coming down here. There's Karen, and they're getting ready to round that mark. So the question is they were 12 seconds different at the uh, start. Was Brad able to make up any difference at this first up one leg? Um, kind of looks like it. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Let's see here. Let's get Brad going. Oh, there's that bird again. Oh. He's doing a raven pose. Looks he, was, he was making sure to let Bradley know, like, you can turn around this mark, but, you know, watch yourself. <laughs> well, you just see Brad made up two seconds. So Karen is now up by 10 seconds at the end of the top mark. Hey, you got to start somewhere, and hey, that's not a bad place to start. So we're headed downwind now. Um, lots of this, – this has been the strongest wind we've seen in these match races. So the speeds are up uh, definitely above four, four and a half. Lots of chop. You can see Brad uh, leaning, trying to balance the boat. Um, and Karen is uh, – you know, if you look at our little tracks up here, Karen and Brad are going about the same angle. Uh, Karen is uh, still maintaining that lead. 
A lot of shakage on the camera here. It must be some pretty rough waves out there. It is, but you know what? It's that would without the waves, it's just a sunfish match race. With the waves, you get sunfish. Fun fish. Yeah, see the That's difference right. there? Yeah. You don't want to watch no sunfish match race. Yeah, it's not as exciting for sure. Okay, we're, appro we're approaching the bottom. You get your choice at a gate, Felipe. Do you want to take the gate on the right as you approach, which would be the left side of the course, or the gate on the left, which would be the right side of the course? Uh, I th looking at the gate here, you're going to see Karen is going to choose the one here that goes off towards the left side of the course. There she is. And she immediately goes right into attack. Now Brad's going to round. What do you see here, Felipe? This is going to be a close. Uh, yikers. Oh. oh, another close collision here on Sunfish, Funfish, Match Racing. We give you the cool. We give you the crazy. We give you everything. You know what else we give you? What's that? Some statistics showing that Karen made that four seconds faster. She's now up by 14 seconds. Wow. Impressive. So sure. unfortunately, if you're Brad, you lost two seconds in the first lap. You got to do something different. So he lost, he, he lost his two seconds he got back. Yeah. Double. Yeah. So that's right. Now, as we head up, head up to the uh, little math, for you back up to the first. Yeah, you told me there was going to be no math, Felipe. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a big fan. Brad's doing attack, and what's interesting is, oh, see, now I know what happened here. He was hoping that there was a big enough header shift to the right that he could attack and be on the ley line. Much to his chagrin, that wasn't the case, and now what he's. Was, what was that word? It was chagrin. Um, Can I get a? Dictionary definition of that? It's it's when you uh, gr you you grin at something and say shaw. Like, is it a bad thing? I yeah, I think so. Why are you grinning? Well, you say shaw. Yeah, that is typically a negative <laughs> sound. Okay, so here comes Brad. He's going towards that uh, going towards that top mark. He's on the port lane line. Here comes Karen. She's on the starboard lane line. Karen might be a little overstood. This could get interesting. As we approach this top mark, Brad's got a lot of speed. This is the, they're both over five miles an hour here, Felipe. Record breaking, shattering. Okay, uh-oh. What's gonna happen here, Felipe? Oh, the no. bird's still there, what's gonna happen? This is gonna be close. Oh. Yeah. Oh, is, oh. Do you think his sail touched there at all, or was that a clean? That was clean, trip? and I think that's a great move, and he literally made up that entire difference in one. Yeah, he, he's now ahead here, as it seems. He is, and I by, think. By about a fourth of a boat leg, I would say. That's more math. My bad. What's Karen doing? She's jiving here, Felipe. Oh. What do you think? She's trying to block the wind here. Smart move. She is. Difference, 20 seconds. Brad was 20 seconds faster. It's now Brad by six. He sailed uh, ten, a tenth of a mile. She sailed 0.13. That's almost 30% more distance. That's, that's, that can get you in trouble to sail that extra distance. What is it, what's a, so we're good with the math? Or well, we yeah, that? let's go ahead and stick with that math. All right, so now they're heading down. Again, this is a relatively short race. If you look at the, uh, the map, the overhead, they're pretty even. Yeah, it's, Karen's, uh, Karen's jibe has caught her up. They're doing pretty close here on the speed if we look at that. All hovering around the, the 3.10 mark. Now drop. Yep, there it is. Similar speeds for sure. Felipe, they are dead even according to the map, and they're both approaching the finish line. This is going to be close. It's, hey, have we had a not close one other than that unfortunate 360 from Karen on race one? That's going to be really, really close. We know Brad had a six-second lead at the top mark. Let's see here. Oh, he's getting a gust right here right then. I think that's going to help him. going to seal it maybe. They're gonna, there oh, it is, there the it red is. and white hippity hop. Ding, 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 ding. Yep, they Winner. finished in the same time downwind, but Brad had a six-second lead, so he's going to end up winning this race by six seconds. Well, Felipe, yet again, enjoyed it. We'll have to do this again real soon. More data, more stats, more fun, more fun fish. That's right. Sunfish, funfish. See you next time. See ya.